Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So I will use two scenes from freepick.com. After I finish this video, I will show link and all project files. Let's select this one composition. Let's move the inside or main composition. Change quality full, right mouse, new and solid change solid color white click ok and and add solid name background click ok and move to behind composition one let's open composition one and let's make animations for these objects first step let's select this layer one go to solo and press s change scale zero make sketch a frame and go to 10 k frame for shortcut you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard and change scale 115 then go to 10k frame again change scale 95 go to again 10k frame and change scale 100 there's more keyframes for bones animation let's select keyframes and make easy ease let's see okay nice then select the scale keyframes and control c go to first second select other layers and control v for paste and let's unsolo layer one and let's see okay let's select this layer two move to right and layer three move to right and other layers like this okay let's see okay that's good select this hand layer and select this palm behind icon move to anchor point down click section tool and move to down let's press p make new passing keyframe and go to 5 keyframes let's move to here and let's move to right this hand layer let's see okay select keyframes make easy and select last keyframe move to right go to graph editor let's make smooth graph like this and select this graph make smooth okay let's select last shape frame of the right again then go to here and move to right and change graph like this okay select shape frames hold alt move to left for fast animation okay and in this time go to here hold shift press air make rotation keyframe, frame and go to 10 keyframe, frame change rotation 10 and go to 10 k frame again change 0 let's see okay let's change this minus 5 and select k frames make easy let's see okay let's change this minus 2 and go to 10 k frame again change 2 and go to 10 k frame again change 0 for bones effect let's see Select these last three keyframes, hold Alt and move to left. Let's see. Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's select this hand layer and go to select Puppet Pin Tool. Let's add one here and one here, here and here. Click Session Tool. Let's see. Okay, and in this time, let's press U for C keyframes. And let's select this puppet. Let's select puppet keyframes. Move to left. And go to here. Let's select puppet and change. Move to right. And go to here. Let's change for click. And go to here. Let's move to right again and select first shape frame control c control v select shape frames and make easy let's see okay that's good so in this time select this layer one and go to here in this time when we click press s make scale shape frame and go to here change scale 95 or 90 and go to 5k frames change 100 let's see
Okay, that's good. So in this time, let's open composition tool and select these all layers without card and hide layers. Select this card and press P, make new passing keyframe, move to right and move to up this layer. Select keyframes, make easy ease. Let's see. Select keyframes, go to graph editor and let's make smooth graph. Okay, select this keyframe, move to left. And back to keyframe, select last keyframe, move to right for slow animation. Okay, back to main and let's select this composition too. Let's move to inside here and move to right. Let's move to left this composition. Okay, in this time, let's go to effects preset and search effect Gaussian blur and select Gaussian blur. Let's use for this composition one and change blurness like this. And let's open composition one, select background object, control X, back to main and control V for paths. And move to behind compositions and look layer and look background layer. Then select this composition one. And in this time, make blurness press U for see only keyframes. And go to here, change blurness like this. Let's see. Select keyframes, make easy. Move to right. Okay, let's see. So in this time, let's back to composition one and select other layers and press P, make new passing keyframe, go to here and let's move to center like this. Okay, let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's back to composition two and say keyframes, go to graph editor. Let's make again smooth like this. And select last shape frame of the right. And let's select this reflection. Let's unsolo and link to cart and select cart control D for duplicate. Select reflection. Move to inside cart layers and click toggle switch mode. Let's change non to alpha matte and press S change scale. Okay, let's press P. Move to right. And make new passing keyframe, go to here and move to left like this. Select keyframes, make easy. Okay, select keyframe, move to right. Go to graph editor, select graph, make smooth like this. Let's move to right again this keyframe. Select shape frames, move to left. Okay, let's see here. So go to here and select this text, go to on solo. Let's change quality to full. And let's link to cart. Okay, nice. Select this layer one. And these layers, let's again link to cart. And press P. Let's move to right. Make new passing keyframe. Go to here and move to left. Select keyframes. Make easy. Go to graph editor. Make smooth graph. Let's see. Okay. Select keyframes. Move to right for smooth animation. So let's go to here. And hold shift press T, make opacity keyframe, foster layers and change opacity zero. Go to here, change 100. And select these keyframes, make easy. And select this layer two, move to right. And layer one, move to right. Move to left this and this, move to right. Okay, nice. Let's see here. 
So let's back to composition 2 again. Select this card and in this time let's make smooth bones effect. Let's move it down. Let's select card 2, link to card layer and select this card. Let's move it down and go to 10k frame, move to up. Again go to 10k frame, move to down. Let's see. Okay, we have prime and with chain frames. Let's select this last three chain frame, right mouse, chain frame interpolation, change auto bezier to linear. Click OK, let's see. Okay, that's good. Let's select chain frames, go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's move to right and this move to right. Okay, let's see here. Let's select this composition and move to right. Let's open composition 1. Select all chain frames, move to right and make easy. -ease. And let's make random animation. Let's see here. Okay, nice. So back to composition 2, let's click for back to chain frames and select this lock objects. Let's unsolo and right mouse, precoms, add the name lock, click OK. And let's select this lock lion. Let's go to pen tool and make pen like this. Click session tool, go to FX Presser, search FX Stroke, select Stroke, let's use for this lock lion and change paint style, reveal original image, change brush size and change brush hardness 0, then change start 100 and go to first second, make start key frame. Go to 10k frame, chain start to 0. Press U for CK frames, make easy. -ease. Let's see. Okay, go to graph editor and let's make smooth graph. Okay, nice. So in this time, let's select this lock main and press S, click this icon, make sketch chain frame, move to right, chain scale 0. Select chain frames, make easy. -ease. Go to graph editor and make smooth graph. Back to chain frames and select lock line. Let's move to right. Okay, select this lock object. Press T, change opacity 0, make opacity chain frame. Go to here, change opacity 100 and move to right. Okay, not bad. Let's back to composition 2 and select this lock. Let's link to cart layer and move to right this composition. Okay, nice. Let's see here. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.